Hello, beloved, and welcome to your reading. We're going to be diving deep into this reading to see what you need to know at this present moment in time. It is always important to have the discipline to watch the reading all the way through because you're going to be receiving a lot of golden nuggets that the divine is wanting you to receive. I want you to understand that these readings are general, so do take what is resonating with you, and if anything is not resonating, leave that behind, because that will resonate with someone else who is watching this reading. The theme of the reading is on the table. We're going to be diving deep into this message in a moment. First of all, we're going to be looking at what you need to know at this present moment in time. You're receiving at the bottom of the deck the energies of the Wheel of Fortune. The Divine is saying to you that it is important for you to understand that there are some changes that are coming towards you right now. It is important for you to understand that there are some cycles that are ending and there are new beginnings that are on the cards. It is always important to understand that the Wheel of Fortune being a major arcana kind of cards indicates that luck is going to be on your side. However, it is going to be important for you to take the action that you need to take to activate the luck that is here. You are inviting Lady Luck to walk with you if you are willing to go on a journey, if you're willing to go on a ride. The Divine is saying that the Lady Justice always had that sort of truth. So it is important for you to understand that as you're standing in your truth, this is going to be helping you navigate the situation that is going to be coming up. So the divine is saying there is nothing for you to be afraid of. Lady Luck is walking with you. No matter what obstacles, no matter what challenges are going to be there, you are going to be seeing that as you are looking back at life, you're going to be thankful that you worked with the divine timing to make some endings happen. The divine is saying that for some of you, you are watering dead situations. You are watering dead plants. The energies of the Ten of Swords is an ending Take note that the Ten of Swords, you also have the number 10 connected to the Wheel of Fortune. So the Divine is saying, what has ended in your life? What has to end in your life? You need to understand that this is the truth that you must sit with. This is the truth that you must accept. Otherwise, the more you stay in situations, the more you're going to be hurting yourself. The more you're going to be experiencing challenge after challenge. And this is what I say to you. You are currently working with divine timing. And this is what the divine wants you to see. So the theme of this reading is connected to things in your life that have ended. But these are opening up a chapter, a portal for you to walk into to activate the new beginnings that are on the cards. You have the energies of the page of cups. I love this for you because the page of cups, the divine is saying it is important for you to accept this situation and for you to step into the energy of daydreaming, of activating that cell in your body, that, that excitement in your body. Because when we're looking at the energies of the pages, these are connected to excitement. So the divine is saying that there's an exciting new chapter that is here. But it is important for you to stay in that energy of daydreaming, being in that energy of wondering, what if, what if Lady Luck holds my hand and everything that I'm dreaming of unfolds in a magical way? What if I am facing difficult and painful situations, but as I journey forward, these situations are nothing in comparison to the new chapters that I am going to be walking into. So what do I need to look at right now? And what do I need to accept right now? And where do I need to put my emotions in check so that I can logically see, understand, accept what is ending so that I can bring in the new beginning connected to the energies of the Wheel of Fortune. You have the energies of the Queens of Sword. And it's interesting that we have the royal suit. The pages are part of the royal suit and the energies of the queens are, of course, the royal suit. The energies of the pages are young. They are naive. They're lacking some knowledge. They're lacking some experience. And sometimes we have to go through painful experiences so that we can finally accept that there has to be something better waiting for us on the other side. And this is the energy of maturity. When we're able to sit and look at what doesn't serve us anymore 
and accept that and transcend beyond any fear, any doubt with the energy of acceptance, understanding that sometimes we have to put our emotions to one side so that we can logically see and understand the action that we need to take. And this is the energy of the Queen of Swords, where you are now working with maturity. Now, when you're working with wisdom, divine wisdom, so the divine is saying that there is going to be some growth that is going to be connected to you going forward in a way that is going to be elevating your situation in a beautiful way because you are working with divine timing and you're understanding that you are working with divine timing, which is really important. What we're going to do now is we're going to be getting our Oracle cards. And as we get our Oracle cards, I want to let you know that I've opened up a few spaces for personal readings. So for those of you who've been asking me for a long time for personal readings, this is your opportunity to get a personal reading with me. You know that my personal readings are always booked up six months and even sometimes longer than that, eight months in advance. So I really have worked really hard to make sure that I had time to open up these, um, these slots for you. So if you're wanting to have a reading, go and take the action that you need to take before those readings get sold out. Because I don't know when I'm going to be opening up readings again because my schedule is getting busy or is already busy for the next eight months. Okay, so we have our oracle cards on the table. And for those of you, I forgot to say who want personal readings, everything that I do is linked in the description box below. Court cutting ceremonies, banishing ceremonies, return to sender, honey jars connecting to calling in your blessings calling in the sweet things in life. There's a lot that I do and everything that you're going to need to know is on my website. So getting back to the reading, the divine is again emphasizing what we've already spoken about. The divine is telling you that you must take inspired action to be able to walk in to this new beginning that is on the cards for you. You must take inspired action and you must use that sword of truth to cut away what is keeping you tied to situations that bring nothing but disappointment and pain. So the divine is saying, now is the time. Stop, keep on letting people stab you in the back, disappoint you. It is important for you to ask yourself, why am I in this situation? Why am I experiencing karmic situations that keep repeating themselves over and over again? You take the sort of truth, you look at things for what they truly are. Remember, in a logical way, so that you can see the pattern that is there that you otherwise miss if you're all up in your emotions. The next card, the divine again is giving you the same type of message saying to you, where is the vibe off right now? Where has the vibe been off for a really long time? The vibe has been off for a reason. So again, why are you allowing yourself to be in spaces where you don't belong when something better is waiting for you? Take inspired action and leave situations that have caused you nothing but pain and repeating and repeating over and over again. The next card that the divine wanted you to hear was that it is time for you to start taking care of yourself, taking care of your mental health. Being that you're working with the energies of the Queen of Swords, the divine is saying that, yes, your mental health is going to be important because the swords operate on the mental plane. So it is important for you to take some time out to do the things that bring you joy, to do the things that you love. Just chill out, relax, and allow yourself to be in the moment. Just be in the moment and allow yourself to rest and recuperate and relax. Okay, on the other side of this card, the divine is saying, treat yourself because you deserve it. You certainly have been through a lot. And it's important for you to understand that this message of you treating yourself is again being repeated. So can you see how the messages tell you the same thing in different ways? Because the divine is hoping that finally the penny is going to drop. So it is important for you to treat yourself, understanding that you deserve it. And the message is being repeated by the divine saying to you, do something for yourself. This is very much about you. This is very much about you understanding that putting yourself first is not selfish 
but rather it is an act of self-love. And when you love yourself, you are gentle with yourself, you are tender with yourself, you allow yourself to be in your emotions, you allow yourself to do the good things that make you feel good, you allow yourself to maybe go on a vacation, buy yourself flowers, buy yourself even something as simple as a chocolate bar. If you're saying to yourself, I cannot afford a vacation right now, I cannot afford to find, buy myself some flowers, buy yourself a chocolate, your favorite coffee, just do something small as a way of just acknowledging everything that you've been through and the efforts that you've made to stay afloat. Okay, so the divine wants you to understand that certainly the wheel of fortune is going to be bringing this gentleness that we spoke about. There's a different vibe that is going to be around you. So I really love these energies that are here. But to activate these energies, you must remember to take inspired action. You must remember that it is time for you to get up and to walk through that portal. You must remember to be gentle with yourself, to treat yourself, to love yourself, to put yourself first because you deserve it. You certainly have been through a lot. So, beloved, this is the message that the Divine wanted to give to you. I want to remind you again, personal readings on my website, banishing ceremonies, cord cutting ceremonies, candle magic ceremonies. We have the full moon that is coming up on the 27th of November. There's going to be a full moon ceremony that is going to be connected with that. So if you're wanting to be part of that, again, everything that you need to know is in the comment section below. I always get you to comment an emoji to show me that you've watched this reading up to this point. So in the comment section below, comment that bunch of flowers. Comment that emoji in the comment section below. I appreciate you. Thank you for listening to this reading up to this point. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. I appreciate your support as always. And so I'm going to see you in my next reading. And it is a goodbye from me.